Dallas, Texas, around Del Rio. This is, this is morning hunt number two. I'm sitting on a little corn feeder and protein feeder, and I'm in a ginormous, a huge papa bun. Like, this is the biggest papa bun I've ever seen in my entire life. You could easily fit, like, four or five people across this thing comfortably and shoot. So, on the list for me this morning is, of course, pigs, uh, fallow does, and axis buck war does. So, I am super excited. As you guys saw in the previous video, I ended up going on the hunt of a lifetime. Got to take that odd at 220 yards with my rifle. And if you guys haven't seen it, I will drop a link down below and you guys can go check it out. Absolute incredible hunt. And uh, it's a hunt that I've wanted to do. And that's an animal that I wanted to take for a very long time. So I'm excited to see what this morning has in store. It's, uh, it's pretty chilly. But I'm ready. I hope that I can let some arrows fly. Cause I haven't got to let an arrow fly on this trip yet. We kind of we could probably kind of set this up because uh, they're going to come. They're going to come out from see that big cedar tree. Yeah. They'll come out from there, or they're going to come up around behind all this stuff. Okay. So yeah. They really should never come from behind me over right this way. Here. Yeah. I've never seen them come. So we sat this morning, and I didn't see anything. Did you? You didn't see anything either, did you? Nope. We just uh, we went to Del Rio and ate some breakfast, and we're back out here trying to figure out what we're going to set up for this evening hunt, and we're going to make a little brush blind. There's a rifle blind right up there. But I'm going to try to stick a pig with a bow because they've been pretty consistent in here. So we're going to jump in here and get this all set up for this evening. Alright, so we just got done setting up that spot. We're back at camp now and John said he wanted to check his rifle. You guys can see him. He's walking out there right now. And he's got frozen. He's got a frozen milk jug, and he says they explode, which I've never shot a frozen milk jug. I've never seen anybody shoot a frozen milk jug. I have shot regular milk jugs with water in them, with a 223 or with you know, whatever, and they explode just because of the pressure. But I've never seen anybody shoot a frozen one, so I'm excited to see this. Um, I think it says it's either it's 300 Win Mag or it's 30-06. We're gonna check the. Uh, zero on it because when we were driving around this morning after the hunt <coughs> John bef just before John picked me up he saw a really 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 nice all dad and so uh, I th the shot that I took last night was 220 yards you know I told you guys that and so it could some of the shots could be further some of them could be closer so he's gonna check it right quick I'd say at about 100 yards or so and he's got the Burris uh, auto scope like it tells you the, the drop automatically inside the scope it's got the range finder and everything so it's really cool i'm excited to see this i'd say it's still on yeah i'd say it's good <laughs> say that was quite the explosion <laughs> okay everybody I'm settled in for the evening hunt as you saw a little bit ago we uh, made this little brush pond right quick the wind isn't super super perfect um, it's kind of it's kind of shifty kind of blowing out a couple of different directions but that's all right I think that these uh, pigs are gonna come in and I'm gonna be able to get a shot John's buddy Royce 
sat at this Ralph Blonde about 50 or 60 yards up the lane last night and had some pigs come in and uh, there were a bunch of little bitty uh, piglets so you guys know I'm not afraid or ashamed to arrow two or three little piglets at once uh, but the, Roy said that the sow never came out so she's my first target of course but if she doesn't come out and eat some corn well then I'm gonna, just gonna lay it to a couple of little bitty ones it is 4.15 and Roy said that those pigs came in about 30 minutes before dark last night so I'm thinking probably around uh, 6 or so they should be here but either way I'm excited I'm ready to go and uh, it's the last evening hunt here and we've got one more hunt in the morning and I'm hoping that we can stick a pig for you guys As you can tell, I had a ton of little piglets come out. And it sounds like they're still kind of in the area, but I don't really know. I feel like I made a pretty good shot. I heard it squeal, and then I'm pretty sure I heard it run off and die just a couple of yards back behind the feeder. <laughs> I know y'all just saw me stumbling around in the woods, but after I got up, I turned around and looked behind me. And they're literally five yards behind me just eating. My wind's blowing right to them, and they don't care. So I got up, and I kind of moved back a little bit to try to get some in view. And I kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going. And I guess they saw me or something because they all busted out of there. I was super, super close. And uh, I was waiting to draw back, but they were staying on the back side of that little tree right there in front of me. There wasn't really a whole lot that I could do about it, but for sure got one, possibly two, and I would have had more if I could have gotten another shot off, but man, it's been an absolutely incredible weekend. I can't thank John with Fearless Life Outdoors enough. Guys, his, uh, his YouTube channel and his Instagram will be linked down below. Jump down there and give him a follow. Super awesome guy. Just a incredible person to have spent this weekend with it's been so much fun even though we haven't killed tons of animals I shot a, an Audad ram of a lifetime and if you guys haven't seen that video yet it will be linked down below you can, can jump down there and check it out but all in all it's been an incredible incredible weekend John said he's on the way to pick me up and I'm gonna sit here for just a little bit longer Maybe some more will show up, maybe not, I don't know. And then uh, we're gonna go see if we can find my little piglet. You didn't see anything, did you? Uh, raccoon. Raccoon. And all that. John made it over here with me. I walked up here just a second ago and there is blood all over the place. I'm hoping we find two down here. Yeah, me too, that'd be awesome. There it is. Awesome. There's there. blood going everywhere. You see any underneath here? Who's down in here? Hey, there's my arrow. Yeah, I can't believe that. It looked like my arrow looked like it was gone forever. 
on the shot. How often do you see something like that? Isn't that wild? With it just sticking in the ground? <laughs> just came down like that? That's crazy. Blood all over it. Yeah. Uh, I think it was more over here to the right. Yeah. Holy smokes. <laughs> there's blood up there and there's blood down here too. I don't know. I only pulled the trigger once. <laughs> huh? There's blood over here. So he must have just done like a circle or something right there. Yeah. I got oh, blood here's. Over here. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, here you go. Hello. I guess this is the one that I center punched first. and tasty. Ease. I guess that's what a two inch mechanical does to a piglet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Well everybody, I just wrapped up editing this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and the love. One thing I want to mention is that link down below will be my website, 4 bowhuntingus You guys can pick up awesome 4 b merch and uh, help support the channel, help support me, and I can continue to bring you guys awesome content like this. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I've got some more hog hunts coming up. I'm really looking forward to those. I hope you guys are too. Got a couple of uh, surprise hunts coming up in the next uh, month or so. Yeah month or so give or take a couple of weeks <laughs> but anyway lots of new stuff coming at you got a podcast coming at you wednesday and um <clears throat> i will be announcing the winners for the 7k giveaway and um i told you that i was going to pick three of you and i will go back to that video that i mentioned that i will uh I will comment and let you, the three of you know who won, and then also in the new video, I will um, I will put, add that part in there, so you guys will know who you are. That way, you can uh, get on Instagram or YouTube and send me your information, and I'll get that stuff uh, sent out to you guys. I appreciate all the love and support. Don't forget to hit that share button, hit that thumbs up, drop a comment. I love talking to you guys. The more you share, the the more these videos will make it to everyone else, and. Uh, we can grow and I can continue to do this. Anyway, that's all I've got tonight. I love each and every one of you and I'll catch you on the next one.